Hey guys and welcome back to Forest Game Zoo 3 where today we are continuing on with our personality type series and we are making an ESTJ sim. So in case you guys didn't know, I started a new series two weeks ago where I create tiny homes based on the 16 personality types as well as recreate them as sims. And the first two videos that I put out for the series were the INFP tiny home and the INFP sim. So I will have those linked so you guys can go check those out if you'd like to. And then this week we are making the ESTJ sim and the ESTJ tiny home. Oh, it was meant to be a tiny home and then I thought like if anyone's gonna get like a slightly larger house it will probably be the ESTJ. And then the ESTJ's home ended up being I think like 110 tiles so just over the tiny home limit but um, I didn't really want to downsize it because I thought it was like a really nice size and all that. But him but yeah so today we are making the ESTJ sim and then um, the tiny home or like the small home I guess will be coming out on Friday so you guys will be able to go and check that out in a few days time or I will also get it pinned to this video so in case you're watching in the future you guys can just go and straight away check it out but um yeah so today we're just doing the ESTJ sim and I decided to go for a male base because I do think some of these will end up being somewhat similar and I think that the ESTJ and the ENTJ are two uh, personality types that are pretty similar. They obviously have like their own distinctions and everything, but um, they do still like happen to be quite similar. And I knew that I wanted to make the ENTJ like a um, super powerful woman, like CEO, boss, lady type deal. And so I then thought, well, in that case, I guess I'll make the ESTJ a male sim. And I do actually enjoy making male sims, so it works out pretty nicely. But yeah, um, so going into this I did create a pin board over on my Pinterest with just like a bunch of different pins that mark what I wanted the vibes of him and his home to like go for and all that so I wanted to make him look sort of like uh, old money type-esque I just thought that that would work pretty well for an ESTJ because in my mind ESTJs are sort of like powerful have a lot of money really good at their jobs and are dicks because I don't personally have very good experience with ESTJs Jays, um, which of course does not mean that all of them are bad people because that's not how it works. Um, yeah, so I wanted to go for an old money aesthetic because I thought that that would work pretty nicely for an ESTJ. I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. I do like most of his outfits. I was struggling a bit in terms of like his summer and winter wear. I wasn't 100% sure what to go for um, in terms of those, but I think I've nailed it down to two outfits for each. And I think I'm pretty happy with both of them. And then of course, you'll be able to download him as well as check out all of the CC I used for him over on my Patreon, which currently there's early access for download, but in a week's time, you guys can like access it and download everything for free. And you can check out the CC list just fine because that's not behind a paywall or anything like that so you can go check out the cc list and then uh, in a week's time you can download him or if you'd like to like spend like a pound or two then you could download him uh, straight away uh also on my patreon i'm pretty sure i have the estj home out already for to like check out the cc list as well as to download it so you guys can like check out how that looks before i start making any other like sort of content for that uh and like posting it because the uh, video will be out on Friday, but then like shorts and stuff will be coming out like next week and whatnot. So yeah, if you'd like to like see how it looks beforehand, you guys can like head over to my Patreon and check it out there. I also have a bunch of other um, builds and sims and like rooms and stuff uh, where you can check out um, see the CC I use as well as download them. Um, so yeah, just in case you'd like to have a look at that, you can. Sorry, I was interrupted there for a second. But uh, I'm back now, so let's talk about the outfits themselves. Overall, I did want him to elude the sort of cockiness, I guess. And at least according to my sister, I achieved it because she did say he looks gay and like a cunt. So um, I do strive to uh, make all of my characters look at least a little bit gay. Not necessarily like cunt, but with this one, I, I take that as a as a, a pat on the back and a good job um, because that is sort of what I was going for. But um, yeah, so for the first outfit, I decided to go for this like sort of vest, like a knitted vest with like a white button up underneath and then some cream khakis. I thought, is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know much about fashion, but basically just like 
creamish, greyish, brownish, light coloured trousers and a nice pair of brown leather shoes. And then for um, formal wear, I gave him two outfits, one of which is more like a casual formal. Um, so just like a white button up with a light coloured jacket over that and some um, brown orange pants. And then he also got another version, which is more of like a full on suit. And then for his active wear, I gave him something that I thought was just like a more normal-ish gym attire wear. I haven't gone to the gym in quite a while, so I honestly don't actually know what people wear. So I just gave him something that I thought was like, I mean, I feel like this is the sort of look that, like this is definitely the sort of look that I have seen people wearing. Um, and I tend to be afraid of them um, when they wear this because they tend to be really mask like muscular uh, with like a bunch of muscles everywhere and like really beefy thighs. I don't know why specifically that, but that's what I <laughs> but that's what I've seen. Um, so like yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the that's the look I gave him for that. And then for his sleepwear, I gave him something which I thought was like a pretty posh old money sort of look it like reminds me of the sort of things that he used to wear and it's like a white vest with blue like white and blue striped um shorts and like some slippers as well i don't, i really like this look i don't know it just a very clean simple elegant um sleepwear look i don't know but i do like it so i mean that's important i guess then for his party wear I just gave him a red suit, which I think he looks very dapper in, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't really know what to give him for, like, party wear, because, like, he's definitely rich and all that. So I wanted it to be sort of, a, like, aligned with that and the old money aesthetic and all that. And then I came across this suit and I was like, mm, maybe, maybe let's just go with this. Yeah, why not? Then for uh, swimwear, he just got a pair of trunks or shorts or whatever it's called. Again, I have I don't I don't know anything about fashion, mate. I I don't know anything about anything. But yeah, a pair of shorts or something, and that was it. And then for his summer wear, one um, of the two options I ended up going with was just like a really nice um, button-up shirt. That's like a light greenish greyish color and like a nice pair of shorts and then the other one was like a but like an opened one up over like a vest and some brown jeans and some brown jeans i'm pretty sure it's blue jeans pretty sure it's blue jeans like uh, yeah it's blue jeans i don't know where brown jeans came from but anyway and then the two uh winter outfits one is just a cropped i guess leather is that leather maybe le leather I don't know, so leather-ish, maybe like faux, faux leather, something like that. Um, woolly, woolly jacket over a pink turtleneck and along with some green uh, pants, jeans, I guess those are jeans. Yeah, and then some like little boots. And then the other winter outfit is like more of like an indoor one, I guess, but it's just like a white shirt with a panther, I think, print jacket and some brown pants and the same pair of boots i think and yeah and i am pretty happy with all these looks uh i did struggle a bit to like choose which of the four some outfits to go with but i think i'm happy with the one that i did decide to go with and um yeah oh yeah his name i decided to name him byron carter because i felt like that was such an old money name i guess like an estj old money name i think i may have gone on like an some sort of forum and like to see what people would call ESTJs and I'm pretty sure Byron was on there and then Carter or Carter either Byron or Carter was on there. the other one I'm pretty sure was just like random generated through the sims and I felt that it fit nicely so um yeah so yeah I guess I could just quickly say what I'm also working on currently so I have planned out content for this uh, for September, there will be two weeks with just one, I think, video, and then the rest will all have two uh, long form videos. Isn't? And one of those is going to be um, one or two, no, one, I think. 
Either, either one or two of those will be a continuing on with this series and then one will be like a summer um, CC sort of hole so there'll be that and then there's I will f also finally be finishing off this one build for the English village that has taken me like half a year at this point and I'm really tired of and I can't wait to fucking finish it um, so yeah most likely I'm doing my best to be getting out daily shorts as well so yeah I think I will just let you guys have a look at the final like outfits in the final like five seconds or something of the video don't forget to check out the description where i will have a bunch of stuff linked including the cc list and the download for byron over here this estj and yeah i will see you in the next video okay bye